visual artist, born and raised in Marion, Indiana. And I became an artist through my undergraduate studies when I was studying communication studies. And during my last semester, I took a photography class and the light bulb came on. It was all downhill from there. So I immediately was working with photography. And at some point I took classes at the Heron School of Art and Design and started dabbling into other things like video and sculpture. And so sort of pretty much mixed media now at this point. My work is abstract, visually abstract. The materials that I use sort of are directly related to the ideas that I'm referencing in the work. And then also the titles given to the work also reference those ideas. And for the most part, the object in of itself is to, to really to pull the viewer in and sort of a catalyst for a conversation. Current mediums that I work with, I work mainly with reference books, encyclopedias, law books, medical books, even art history books. That is it for the most part, but I deconstruct them and work with them in different ways. The book covers in particular, I also work with the pages and working on pulping them and creating three-dimensional objects, which is a new work that I've been working on recently. For the Dahan project, I've been using um, some history books from Indiana, and I've been working, sort of revisited this process of making these three-dimensional sculptures from uh, pulped books. I chose the textbooks that I, in particular, because I'm just sort of, they're close to home. And just referencing history in general and thinking about history in terms of history that is not highlighted, history that is left out. That was the, the sort of the main emphasis in using that material. In terms of the process, um, there's a lot of deconstruction that happens. And in that deconstruction, there's also a use of a lot of water. You use the water to break down the books and the water is used to sort of soften the adhesive from the book covers. And then I also use lots of water in pulping the book covers as well and the pages of the books. And I also use a sewing machine. Um, use that in a large part of my practice when I sew the book covers together. When I first made the work some time ago, it was, it was a work that I thought was dry and I was storing it at my home in my garage and it was going to be in an exhibition. I should have opened the crate up to check it out before I sent it off because when it got to its destination, that's when we realized that there was mold on it. And I was very disappointed um, because it was a wonderful piece and I didn't get to have a chance to show it. So, you know, it was a big relief to go through this process and not have that same issue again and to finally be able to see the work realized. So the work behind me, I probably spent maybe a couple of weeks on, because in that work, there's a mixed, there's a mix between the, the the processes that I've used. There's a traditional use of sewing the book covers together, and then the pulping of the book covers. And when I pulp each color, it typically takes overnight in the machine that breaks it down. And I run one color at a time. So there's probably several different colors on that piece, and it may take, you know, several nights to run those. And then once the pieces are composed, it takes, you know, up to two to three days for it to dry as well. And that is sort of the, the majority of, of the work that I put into this. And it was a process that I got some help from. I actually did a residency in New York at a space called Diodone. So they helped me sort out the, the issue that I had with the material um, growing mold. And we added a step to the process that sort of enables the material to dry much quicker and keep the mold from growing. But you know, all in all, the sort of the experience that I, that I was able to have in doing the residency was, was extremely helpful because it was, a, it, was, it was a process that I had last sat with maybe about six or seven years ago. And so this enabled me to revisit this and get some extra sort of hands and minds on the product, on the process, if you will, to help me sort it out. I think my involvement with the Arts Council is sort of really um, in some ways uh, uh, enabled me to, to be involved and to get to know more people, get to know more of the community and sort of getting re-immersed from the time that I was away because I was away for seven years and a lot has changed since then. Um, so, so it's been really good in that way. An impact that I've sort of had in receiving the Dahan Award, I sort of, it hasn't been fully realized, but I think sort of after this exhibition and some upcoming exhibitions when I'm able to share this 
new three-dimensional work with the public, I think it'll be a good response to it, and it'll, it'll be, um, you know, a wonderful thing.